This year's Chinook Blast is a winter wonderland of arts, culture, and sports in the city. And we're at Big Art, where we're gonna go behind the scenes to get you set for this year's Chinook Blast. It's all happening now on Living a Creative Life. Paul, thank you for joining me on Living a Creative Life. Tell me what uh, you're doing in this beautiful warehouse. At Big Art, we make big art, Ooh. which is a shocker, I know. But more importantly, I think we make uh, what we consider works of wonder because our job, we believe as artists here, is to inspire. We both design and build all the installations here in this space. And then from this space, we also launch them for tour and we tour all across the world. So an example of an art installation might be what's beside me is the doors. And the doors are a permanent or temporary artwork that can exist in public space, indoor or outdoor. All of our stuff is interactive. If you touch it, it'll do a thing. If you make a gesture, it'll change colors. All of those things. Why did you decide to do like <laughs> big art? I was inspired by some of the artworks that were coming to us from Burning Man, other artists in the same pipeline. So then we thought, we can do that. And we can make cool, weird things, and we can make them work. There wasn't enough of this when I started. Now that we're maturing, we want to inspire others to make more. This is the art we love. What does being a part of Chinook Blast mean to you? So the free events that are Chinook Blast, Glow, Beakerhead, all of those are really important to our community. It's how we engage, it's how we inspire, and we need more of that. So very proud to be involved with what I would consider a free public art or entertainment event. We just need those. There's a certain level of multiplying factor of inspiration that comes when you're in space with other people that you don't know mm. in awe and having that discussion and just being around. There's an elevated sense of happiness and joy and connectivity and it creates a more vibrant city. Every year, specific to Chinook Blast, I look forward to new work from new artists as well as really polished work from professional artists. Both inspire me just as much. These are great platforms to fail, a little. Because if you're an emerging artist, building something that's way beyond your means next to a professional artist who's building at that scale, and you communicate and you collectively talk and you engage, you will make better artists. And so that is the thing I look forward to the most is seeing those artists talk to each other, present with each other, be around each other, building for better. Today I'm in big art and I get to talk to the big kahuna from Chinook Blast. Thank you for being here and talking to us everything Chinook Blast, Jeff. Glad to be here, thanks for having me. So tell me why, like how did Chinook Blast become Calgary's premier winter festival? Well, we, uh, we had a lot of great things happening in the winter already in Calgary. We had the high performance rodeo, yes. we had block heater, yes. you know, big winter classic. And uh, what we wanted to do is really try to enhance what was going on to bring more people here to the city from a visitor perspective, to also get people out uh, and about in Calgary during the winter, and then just really try to create much more vibrancy in the downtown area. We're really working to make a festival that celebrates all the best things of Calgary, whether it's arts or recreation or sport. How do people get involved with Chinook Blast? Chinook Blast is a really open platform. Um, and we've made it as such so that we can uh, have as much programming and as much activity in Calgary as possible. We have night markets, we've got different areas where we have performers, and we work with 60 different partners right now. Every year we see more and more partners coming to the table asking to be part of a Chinook Blast, and we're pretty open to any attraction, any facility, any group that really wants to be a part of Chinook Blast. Calgary's a winter city, and so why not get people outside and experiencing? They love going to the mountains, they love skiing, they love snowshoeing and doing things outside, but why not in the downtown? And of course, we're called Chinook Blast because we have so many Chinooks, and we have some really great weather for people to get out and do something outside during the winter time. And we've experienced some wonderful weather when we've had Chinook Blast in the past and in the three weeks in February. Planning a date night? family gathering, or looking for something to do, there's no shortage of arts and culture events in our city at yycwhatson.ca. Today I get to talk to Shannon Reinhold from Agogo, -Go, which are Agogo -Go artists. So Agogo -Go 
is a collection of artists that work together. We have many different uh, ways of expressing art, mostly through dance. We do prop manipulation, which includes LED, daytime props as well with silks, and we do fire. What is the response from the public? Yeah, we've been getting amazing and incredible response from the public. The one thing I really enjoy is just the energy that comes from the crowd. Children especially just love watching what we do, watching these amazing, like when we're working with LED, just watching all the LED props and the way we use them. You know, they ask, can we try? Where can we learn to do that? So not only are we doing something that we love, but we're also inspiring the public, which is to me like one of the most amazing feelings. It's like, okay, I'm getting other people to want to do this kind of stuff. Now, when I think of Chinook Blast, I think like outside, Cold. The way we get through that is we have costumes. And so the one costume that we used for the last two years was this really nice warm silver snowsuit. You know, we got them ordered. We had to modify them for each person and it kept us warm through the whole time that we were out there. In fact, sometimes they're so warm we had to unzip them to cool off a bit. And when you're moving that much, you think it's cold, but you, you can build up a sweat, even when it's minus 30. <laughs> Why Chinook Blast? The one thing I love about Chinook Blast is Calgary has really long winters. You know, they can last from six to seven, eight, what sometimes feels like nine months long. And it really just helps break the winter months up and gives us something to look forward to. So like every February now, I look forward to Chinook Blast. I'm like, yes, there's something to go out into the city to check it out. It's just great to see what the city has to offer and also how much talent is in the city. The Chinook Blast runs until February 19th. For a complete listing of all events, check out their website at chinookblast.ca. And for a complete rundown of all things art scene in Calgary, check out yycwhatson.ca. See you soon on Living a Creative Life.